Today we're looking at the beautiful and delicious Ivory Lace. It's a Sherwin-Williams paint color that essentially is an off-white. But what kind of off-white is it? What other paint colors go well with it? And what about trim color options if you're painting your baseboards? All stuff that I'm about to tell you on this episode of Color Quickie. This paint color review was requested by one of you. So thank you so much to my beautiful, awesome subscribers. Let's get into this paint color right away. So first off, what kind of paint color is Ivory Lace? Well, when you think of lace in general, you think of white. The ivory aspect is what makes it a bit different. It's actually a warmer leaning off-white in my opinion, and that warmth comes from this sort of creamy beiginess, but it also has a touch of a pink undertone that is extremely subtle. More accurately, I think that pink quality comes from orange, but at the end of the day, this is a color that you can rely on for being just a nice creamy off-white. And I do say off-white because it's a bit darker than you might expect. And we know this because we can look at the LRV or the light reflectance value of said paint color, which essentially is a percentage from zero to 100 telling us how much light the color reflects. Ivory Lace reflects 79% of the light that hits it. which is a lot, but not as much as some of the brighter whites in the Sherwin-Williams catalog and beyond. Now, because of that, I feel that Ivory Lace actually has a lot of versatility as a paint color. It's not so light that it's gonna look extremely stark and sterile when used on larger surfaces like walls. It's also not rich enough with coloration where it'll feel like too much color if you wanted a white for maybe, let's say, trim and baseboards. Personally, I do see it being best used as a wall color really anywhere in the home because of its neutral aspect. It does have that slightly pink undertone, which means it could clash a little bit in a good or a bad way with with other neutrals that maybe are a little bit more green leaning. Hint, hint, spoiler alert. I love green, yo. But whether you're using this in bedrooms, hallways, a kitchen, dining room, you can use this color pretty much anywhere as long as it suits your taste. And the only way you'll know that is if you test it out. So please test your colors. Now let's get right into some trim color options because you gotta paint your baseboards and your doors and your frames if you're using ivory lace on your walls. Of course you could use it on your trim as well, but my preferred trim choice would be white snow in this case. This is another white paint color that has a touch of warmth as well, but not so much in the overly creamy way that Ivory Lace is. The biggest difference between the two is the LRV, that lightness. This one has a 90 LRV, an 11 point difference in brightness. So quite a bit brighter, enough brightness to justify having one as your trim color and one as your wall color, just so you see that bit of difference. They're not gonna be totally subtle and seamless where they just blend into each other. You will notice that white snow is the brighter color, so that'll help it pop a little bit more. Traditionally, lighter trim is what more people go for, but if you wanted a dark trim choice, I would recommend Sea Mariner. And this color is the antithesis of Ivory Lace. It's really dark with a seven LRV. It's cooler leaning with this almost inky, navy, blackened color, sort of a charcoal slate gray. And because of that, the two will be extremely accentuated by one another. You could also flip it in reverse, so have Sea Mariner as a really dark wall color and then ivory lace trim. I think that'll look really cool too. Just keep in mind that you will notice the warmth in ivory lace quite a bit more when you have it next to something so rich and cool. Now, finally, my favorite part, the color pairings of the episode. I have three choices here, just to sort of flesh out this whole color palette. That way you're equipped to tackle your next paint project with vigor. Bubbly break. Now, because we're already starting with the lighter color ivory lace, I went with some mid-tone options just to give you a little more depth of color. So the first one is Canvas Tan. This one isn't the most colorful choice, but it is kind of a darker version of Ivory Lace in a way. It is neutral, it is off-white leaning, although it has a 64 LRV, so quite a bit of a difference in darkness. Really sits in a nice spot as a wall color. Not too light, not too dark, just right. And it does have a sort of khaki feeling to it. More of a rich beige and can act as a great connecting color where you want something a little more robust than just your ivory color. Then adding a different color hue altogether, Soft Sage is the second color pairing. Clearly a green leaning color but I would say still within the neutral family. It is right. muted, it is soft, desaturated, not too jarring, but definitely will complement 
that sort of pink aspect found in ivory lace. Although it is a very subtle pink. I don't want to spook you. Soft Sage is right in the middle in terms of darkness. It has a 50 LRV. So a little bit darker, a little bit richer than canvas tan, but not dark enough where it'll feel out of place amongst the other colors. Green is a wonderful transitional color because it's a little bit cool, a little bit warm. I find that Soft Sage has a little more of a warm yellow undertone than you might expect, which plays in perfectly with our main color, Ivory Lace. And then our third color pairing is the darkest of the bunch, at least when it comes to the color pairings. And it's one of my favorite blues by Sherwin-Williams. Now it isn't a navy blue. It's not even that dark. It has a 39 LRV. It is called Allusion. Not Illusion, not Allusion. Alushin. It was the February color of the month in 2022, and I think for good reason. This is your quintessential denim blue type of color. Not quite a navy, not quite a teal or a purple leaning blue. It just sort of sits in this very familiar pocket of blue that I really do enjoy. Even though this is a sort of dusty color that has gray within it to sort of mute it a little bit, it's definitely the most saturated of the three color pairings. It is going to be the accent color, but it's not too jarring, too daunting for a lot of people to justify using. Excellent in places like bedrooms and bathrooms, but you can even have a pop of it in one of your first floor rooms, let's say, like a living room or a dining room or a kitchen would be great. Just have a pop of color to cut through the otherwise kind of muted colors we've been going with. Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think. And we got another color palette right over here. We got a lot of them on this channel, if you haven't noticed. And also check our Patreon down below. We have three new videos every single Sunday on there. Sunday fun day, y'all. See you on the next one.